prop is easy to rotate in this direction. Drop the bale down. The propeller catches in that bale. All right. Completely free to rotate once the, the rubber winds down. Nice and secure lock. Total freewheel. All right. Two more steps to finish. All right. That bale that sticks out, I don't like leaving it out straight like that. Notice how it sticks almost parallel to the prop shaft. What I want to do is I want to bend a little hook on the end of that. I like having that little hook there on the end of that just to make sure that it engages in the prop a little bit better no chance of it slipping off the prop. Right. Notice how it is on the back side of the prop there. And watch what happens. I put tension on it. it falls completely out of the way. Right. The final step is securing the propeller onto the uh, prop shaft. All right. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to get rid of the ramp here because uh, it's a little bit longer the propeller is a little bit thicker than what I wanted. Okay. Now notice where I've got the end of the prop shaft showing out at the end here. Again, bail down, propeller, oops, bail down, propeller catches on it. You can see it from that angle very clearly. I'll hold this as though the rubber motor was pushing it. Once the propeller lets go, or once the rubber runs down, total free will. Okay. Securing the carrot in place, what I'll do is I'll take and dab on a little bit of uh, accelerant and then I'm going to dab on a little bit of medium weight CYA right. and a little bit more accelerant just to make sure that it is locked in place right. I like using medium because it doesn't wick back into the propeller Anything can be used on this though. You could actually stick your um, little bitty button spinner out there or something like that. Again, total free wheel here. Put the bale in place and it is no longer in free wheel, it is locked. Total freewheel.